So the story of Wilding really is is our story of what happened on our estate over the last 20 years. We inherited 3,500 acres, my husband and I, in West Sussex in southeast of England from his grandparents in the 1980s. You know, we did everything a good farmer is supposed to do conventionally. And after 17 years, we the, the our overdraft was higher than ever. I think we were one and a half million pounds in debt by that stage. And we knew we couldn't go on. The problem, we realized by 1999, was our soil. We are on very marginal land. It's grade three, grade four in agricultural terms. It's very heavy clay, like porridge in winter and as hard as concrete in summer. And so we really looked around for an alternative. There was selling wasn't an option for us because this estate has been in the family for over 250 years. We wanted to do something that was going to work with the land rather than battling against it all the time. His ideas about free roaming animals and allowing them to drive habitat creation in the landscape, they were growing very staggy and dying back, these lovely 300, 400, 500 year old oaks, because of what we were doing underneath them. We were endlessly ploughing the endless chemical inputs, the fertiliser, pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, everything we were chucking on the soil. And of course, just the repeated ploughing and ploughing right up, pretty much up to their trunks. And these trees were suffering. And I think that was a that was an epiphany. We suddenly realised that these beautiful old trees that we looked out onto every day were dying, beginning to die. And it was because of what we were doing to the soil beneath them. How would you describe uh, your estate at the moment? Well, it's it's extraordinary. I mean, a lot of people who come and see our rewilding project say it reminds them of Africa. There's nothing like it. <clears throat> sorry, there's, there's nothing like it left in the British landscape. We also have um, now an ecotourism business, and that's been very exciting. We've had so many people wanting to come and visit Net because of our extraordinary wildlife successes that we thought, well, why should people have to travel the ends of the earth to see wildlife? Why not set up a sort of a safari business like you would have in Africa? I think it's a lot of it is, a lot, is down to aesthetics, changing the way we think our landscape should look like. And it's really about how learning how to be messy again, how to stop being a kind of, you know, that, that sort of Victorian corseted control freak that, that we are and to let go. And I think human beings find that very difficult to do. So in a sense, I think rewilding, you know, it comes down to aesthetics again, and it is about a mindset and about learning how to rewild ourselves.